Today we are reviewing a fan favorite from Aphone. It is their IXG DM7 HIDA. It received a major firmware update. So your favorite product is now better than ever. And another thing that is nice to show on their seven inch screen, it is our new logo. So brand new logo for you guys. And now that we're seeing this, one thing that I really liked when we tested this product is that the fact that it is a touch screen. So you're able to open the screen by touching it, but you also have a motion sensor. So by waving your hand in front of the camera, the screen will turn on and you will be able to see all the contacts there. All right, so we have it there. Let's start the review and let's get going. So first look at the video intercom from a phone. So as you can see, the physical build itself, really nice actually, it looks very clean and it's made of stainless steel. It is IP65 resistance and it is an IK08 Vandal resistant. So you don't need to worry about anything that can happen outdoor to this intercom. It is a robust build. So great start for a video intercom. Next up, we're gonna look at the camera. You have a 1.22 megapixel camera with 720p resolution that you can use. You have the speaker on the top left. Right below the camera, you have a white LED light. So during the night, it lights up itself to act like the IR. So you're able to clearly see who's in front of the camera. If you come down a little bit below, you have your microphone and right next to it, you have your reader. So this is an HID reader. And this makes this video intercom being able to act as an independent access control. What I mean by that is that only having this intercom, you can actually trigger relays to open doors. So with the HID reader inside, you can use a key fob, you can use a pass card too. And Bluetooth is available through a compatible access control platform. So if you use your phone, you can actually put it to the reader and it will open the door for you. Also inside, I mentioned relays, you're able to open a door with an access code. Next up is the T coral sensor. So this is for earring aids. If someone has difficulty hearing and has a device inside of his ear, it will trigger the sensor and you will be able to hear exactly what's happening inside the intercom itself. Now, if we turn back the intercom, so looking behind it, you all have all the connectors right there. So all you need to do is open there and you will see the PoE port and a bunch of other parts right next to it. So this is a PoE powered video intercom, really easy to connect. And right there, you have a magnet that acts as a temper switch. So anytime someone will try to remove the video intercom from instance installation, it will trigger an alarm. So let's see, like right here, I'm gonna remove the bracket there. And right away, it triggers the alarm. Also note that it has impact detection. Great little detail makes great video intercoms. And this is the kind of thing that a phone did with the DM7 HIDA. Now that we've looked at the outside build, what's inside this video intercom? As I mentioned before, with your seven inch screen, you have a customizable background where you can put your own building, your company logo, or anything like this to have a sharp look because a video intercom, so an entrance panel like this one, is the first thing someone will see when they come to your building. So it's nice to have a little bit of marketing in front of it to give a nice first view of your premise. All right, now we see the logo, we click, we go inside. Now, the first thing we program is the category list. And it's really nice to have because this helps you create different categories. So if you're using this application for commercial building, you can put thumbnails next to every category. That means that if a co commercial building has different businesses, well, they can all have their logos and it's just easier to see where you're going. Now, we have level one and we have people systems right there on the device. So if I go inside people systems, it is divided in two with Jeremy and Oleg. So from there, I can go on and I can call Jeremy directly from this entrance panel and it will reach him 
through the mobile application and also if he has a tenant station inside of his office. And we cannot stress that enough that every call you receive will also go through the PC software, it will go through telephone dialing, the guard station, it will go through the tenant station of a commercial and even a multi-family application. So it just shows how a phone solution is complete. Next up would be if you want to call someone through the unit number. So you also have this application here. All you need is know the unit number you're trying to reach. You enter it right there. And by touching this button right there, it will call the unit you're trying to reach. If you don't know the unit, you can also call directly the guard by clicking on the guard icon that is next to the numbers. Now, this is really great. And if you're not going with the category list because you want to preserve anonymity for your tenants, it's a good option to have. And next would be the search. So as I mentioned, again, this is fully customizable. I mentioned it fast that the category list, you can remove this. But again, through the support tool from iPhone, you can remove and add things on the categories that you have on the top of your device. So if I want to remove the category list, this is possible. If I want to remove the number list, it is possible too. Now, through the search, all you need to do is a pretty basic tool, but really useful to have, and the iPhone make it work perfectly. As soon as I enter a letter, I see the last name of someone appearing on the screen. So I entered the P, and I see Jeremy people appearing directly on the screen. So this is also a nice tool to have if you're trying to reach someone specifically that you know by name. Next up, and this is a big one, is the QR reader feature. So this is new with this device. It works with the gateway that just released from iPhone. So you can download the iPhone application on your cell phone to create QR codes you can send to your friends, to delivery service, or to anyone that needs to enter your premise. It acts as a key. So really easy to use again. I'm gonna show you right away how to use it using the mobile application. Now that you downloaded the iPhone app, you have access to creating QR codes. So if you look at the bottom of your screen, you have door release code. So you click on door release code, and from there, you're able to create your QR codes. All you need to do is hit the plus sign on the top right. So this QR code acts as a key if you have a rental home, because again, you can just send the QR code to the people that rented your home, and they're able to enter the house no problem. And you can use the calendar to schedule any kind of entry that they're going through. So you have the start date, you have the end date. So if you're renting for a week or two weeks, there is no problem there. And you can even give access of the period of time during the day and choosing specific days of the week where they can enter. Also, you have a use count. So if again, you're using maybe your QR code for a delivery service. So someone needs to come inside of your home to deliver a package or your food. So they can scan the code once and then the code will not be working anymore. So it's really practical for many type of application. And now I'm gonna show you how to create it. It's really simple. So I'm gonna call this one test two. I'm gonna leave the date of today and I'm gonna use count one. So I'll be able to use that that code specifically just one time. I generate the QR code and now I receive the QR code on my application. So if I go inside of test two, I see the QR code and I can send it through email, through any communication application that you have, whether it's Messenger, WhatsApp, you name it, you can send your QR code from there. So delivery service, you have your their phone number, you send it to them, they receive this QR code, they click on the video intercom, they click on the QR code scanner, it opens up the camera, they point the QR code to the camera, and door open. it opens the door for them. As I mentioned before, this can also work as an independent access control, not only because of the HID reader that is integrated in it, but also because it has relays inside this video intercom. So you can trigger an open door with an access code. So if I click on the top right, you see enter access code. So I enter my access code here and it will open the door right away. So it's another nice feature and this makes this product kind of unique 
with all of these features that a phone implemented in it and last but not least is the language list so a lot of languages are available you have a total of 12 you click on this icon right here and you choose from there it will translate everything right away these are the small details that look simple in application that but that makes product great because they don't insert to feedback they do it right away which makes this product useful from the get-go so whether it's the t call sensor right here or even the access code that you have or the number of languages you can use well this product is pretty complete now you know more about the product but how do you actually install it so you're in luck we're doing a series of multiple videos on how to install this specific product but also many other a phone products so doing the setup the how to's and different tutorials it seems complicated at first when you're that way but honestly if i can do it you can do it don't worry about it and if you like this video well we also have this specific product inside the a phone solution that we just released so you're able to see how it works with a tenant station with a guard station and with the gateway right away you like this video you're ready for the next one you're ready to install it well like and subscribe and we'll send you a bell when you're ready to listen to this new video okay Bye-bye.